Today I'm going to show you how to set up and the basics of an MAX7219. So let's go. Alright, so in a previous video I showed you how to do something similar with a HT1632. Now, the difference between that model and the MAX7219 is that the MAX uses an individual controller for an 8x8 LED display, whereas the HT version actually has all of it built into one unit and is controlled by all of that. So there's a little bit different on the wiring and such, but we'll go through the wiring and programming of the unit now. All right, so here's the unit. It's a 32 by 8 display. Now you can see on the back you've got an in and out, so it actually goes in a direction when you're wiring it up. So this is the side we're going to connect the uh, jumpers to. So they usually come in underneath, but I want to solder mine uh, on the top and backwards because of the application I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to put it in a box as well. So if we pop those pins into the holes, you'll see they'll line up. And when we pop them in, I'll just need to solder them up from the bottom. Make sure that you're doing it in a well-ventilated area and also make sure you don't burn the display as well. You can solder another set of jumpers on the other side in case you want to go to another set of MAX displays. Now I'm just testing here, making sure that the connections actually worked, just using the multimeter on the audio setting. Alright, so now here's the wiring. We're going from a Arduino Uno. So you've got your 3.3 ground and then the three pins that'll connect up to the back. And as you can see, I've connected them into the in spot and just lined them up accordingly. If you use the same wiring out of the out, you can go into another MAX unit as well if you wanted to have more than just the four screens. Now down in the description there's a link that takes you to the library. What we want to do is download the library and install it into the library's folder which you can see here I'm just going to copy the files and put them into that library folder and when they paste in there I've already got it installed already but yours won't ask you that question now inside there's also some samples as well if you want to play around with them so in this case we're opening up one of the samples so I can show you what happens if you don't install a library properly and if you just try and verify it you'll find there's going to be an issue um, usually it's because we haven't installed that library yet. So we go into the manage libraries and in there you can search for the library that you just copied and pasted into that folder and it'll be named the same. So that LED and there we have, I've already got it installed but otherwise you would click on it and it would be on the side to actually install it. I'm just going to use the example code here which I'll link in the description below and what you just have to make sure to do is A, have the libraries installed, B, make sure you've selected the correct uh, Arduino that you've actually connected it to, and the third one is making sure that the pins are correct. So you can see on the second line of code there is in the brackets the uh, 11, 9, such, um, they're, the, they're the actual pins, so just make sure if you're changing your pins around different to what I have, uh, make sure that you change the uh, pins in the code to correlate to the same positions. And there you go, you'll get the uh, little invaders running around, and you can go back to the code if you want at any point and tweak it to make it move around faster. Leave a comment if you have any questions and leave a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. Uh, but that's about it from me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.